In this video, we will cover adding a new customer. From the top level menu, click the Customer button and then the Add Customer button in the right hand corner. Type in your customer information. Select the customer account billing terms, type in the primary contact, select the type, and add additional contact numbers here as well. Enter in the primary contact's email. And if this is a commercial account and the company has a website, you may enter that here. All notes added into this feature will not appear in work orders. These will be internal or private notes. You may add additional billing contacts by click the, clicking the Add Contact button here, completing all of the information, and selecting whether this contact will receive automatic email invoices and or automatic emailed work orders. The next step is defining the service location information. Click the green Next button. The system defaults the location name to main location and will also default the service location to be the same as the billing address. If this is a residence or a commercial customer that shares the billing and service location, you may leave everything checked and synchronized. If you would like to define a separate location, uncheck same as billing address and type in the correct information. If you would like work orders that are completed to be sent automatically, keep this checkbox checked. If you would not like work orders to be automatically emailed, leave that option unchecked. The property type is important as it will link target areas or sites applied to this property location. Choosing a tax rate is also important. Select a default route that will service this account. Again, notes entered into this section are private notes and will not display on work orders. You will again have an opportunity to add additional contacts that are associated specifically with this service location at this point, you may save and create a new work order, save and create a new estimate, or just save and enter in another new customer.